G'day guys, Greg here. Now, recently I went and had a burger and somebody left in the comments that they'd like me to try a local shop burger. Well, around here we've got these industrial estates. You know, they've got your plumbing supplies and your glass repairs, your auto repair shops. Oh, mate, they've got all these little supply shops and all these little small businesses. And one of the small businesses that you usually find in these places are a little tiny takeaway shop that all the tradesmen or the people that are working in that area will come and grab some lunch. Kind of like a food truck, except a permanent shop. So today, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in, try one from this little shop right here. It's called Knox. Let's go in, see what it looks like. I'll order something off the menu and we'll see what it looks like and give it a taste. Alrighty, well, here I go. I actually ordered the steak sandwich with the lot. She asked me what sauce I wanted. I said barbecue and what bread? I said white bread. So, let's take a look at a local takeaway steak sandwich with the lot. Right. Alrighty. Well, let's take a look here. Now, this little steak sandwich here costs $11.50. <whistles> Let's see what's on it. Well, it's white bread. We got some barbecue sauce, which I asked for. There's a fried egg there, great. We got some bacon. Looks like some cheese here. There's a meat patty there. Oh no, sorry, that's the steak. I asked for the steak sandwich. They're usually pretty thin. Got some onion, some beetroot, some tomato, and some lettuce. So that's their version of a steak sandwich with the lot. Well, it seems to be quite a bit different than that one that I had down at Casino. That one had like carrot on it, pineapple as well. So this, the lot is a little bit less than the lot from uh, some other places. And that one in Casino came with chips for the same price. Although this is a steak burger and you have to pay a premium for steak. Anyway, let's see how it goes. Mm. Look at this cheese. So gooey. Mm. That tastes really good. The meat seems to have like a barbecue sort of flavour and taste about it. Yeah, the flavours on this sandwich are tasty. Mmm! They've got the raw onion option, which gives it a sort of pepperiness. The cheese is nice and gooey. The egg still has some goo left in it, which I really appreciate. And the flavour of this is really tasty. Mmm! That meat's really nice and soft and tender, and I haven't come across those big, horrible, chunky, fat sort of pieces that you spend half an hour chewing on either. Well, not yet anyway. I hope there isn't. But the bacon's good. The barbecue sauce is nice. And what burger doesn't taste good with some beetroot on it? Not too many, that's for sure. Mmm. This is actually a really tasty sanger. Huh. I'm really enjoying it. Wow. Mmm! Oh! Mmm! Well, just when you think that you've finished the burger, you look down and you realise that you've only had half of it and you've still got half left! Giddy up to that, sunshines! But I think I've had enough of this burger now to know what score I'm going to give it. <laughs> Out of ten! Well, value-wise, $10.50 for a steak sandwich. Ho, ho, ho! Probably sounds expensive, but when you're a tradesman, mate, you're making 60 bucks an hour anyway. It's only like five minutes work. Flavour-wise, I tell you what, I know it doesn't look like much, but what's on there tastes really nice, and either way you look at it, it's an absolute treat. 
I do love mistake sangers and I haven't had one for a while, but I'm really enjoying this. So for an all-over value, all-over flavour, all-over taste, all-over everything score, knock steak sanger. I'm giving this a... 8.12345 out of 10. Yes, it's expensive, but those tastes in this are really tasty and I'm really enjoying it. Would I come back again for another one and knock Sangers? Can I? But she just doesn't do these sorts of Sangers. She does like Asian food as well. She's got salads there, all day breakfasts. That's a pretty big menu for such a small shop. And they've got a nice outdoor eating area as well or indoors if it's raining, which it never does down here on the Goldie. It's always sunny and shiny. <laughs> but there you go, a takeaway shop steak sandwich. This is pure Aussie Tucker right here. And if you're ever in Australia, it's something that you must try. Well, anyway, I'm gonna sit here and finish this off, marveling at the beauty that is in front of me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time I'll review something. See you then. Oh yeah.